Engels, Russia, military airport is attacked. Russian authorities claim they shot down all the drones, but local chats and video posted online suggest explosions occurred at ground level. Strategic bombers are located there. Can't not notice that there's an air alert now almost every hour in regions bordering free Ukraine. Voronezh air alert, Kursk missile alert, Belgorod shelling every day. Ukrainian-made drones were used in the attack on Engels. Radio Liberty has cited its sources in the HUR. The intelligence service said that the targets were hit, but did not specify which ones. An airfield of Russia's strategic aviation is located in Engels. In particular, it is from there that Russian planes attacking Ukraine take off. According to satellite images released by the Schemes Project, as of March 19th, there were 11 aircraft there, in particular, nine bombers, six 295S, one of which is inoperable, and three 2160S. The aftermath of a Ukrainian strike on an ammo depot in Popasnaya in Luhansk yesterday, according to the channel that posted this video. And Ukrainians are still holding Krinky on the left bank of Dnipro. Russian war blogger Romanov complained about FPV drones produced by the Judgment Day project one of the main producers of these drones for the Russian militants. He says they come with the wrong frequency and are easily intercepted by Ukrainian electronic warfare. There were complaints about this earlier, but now it got to the point where effectiveness is close to zero. March 2024, Kherson region, Russia. There are a lot of Judgment Day drones made by Pseudoplatov available in the area, but their effectiveness is close to zero. The reason is that these drones have been churned out to operate on the same frequency for a long time. The enemy has long since identified this frequency and provided almost the entire contact line both in the sector and in other directions with appropriate electronic warfare. As a result, the vast majority of drones launched by our operators do not reach their goals. The problem could be solved by changing the frequency, but for the supplier this obviously turned into just a business. As a result, there are many targets for FPV, there are operators and FPV themselves, but there are no strikes, solely for technical reasons of the supplier-manufacturer under the Pseudoplatov emblem. Tourists from Ghana, Africa, who came to Ukraine to forever remain as fertilizer in the black soil. In the video, the Ghanaians boasted about the agency that facilitated their trip and encouraged Ghanaian youth to contact the agency to become mercenaries. Russian woman in Germany. I love Putin. He is the best. He does everything for the people. But Schultz does nothing. That's why I'm here to vote. How do you know this? I have family and friends in the Russian Federation. If it's better there, can you imagine moving to Russia? Uh, well, I didn't say it was better there. Deport her. It's been confirmed that the Armada main battle tank has entered service with the Russian military, but will not be deployed to Ukraine. This is highly likely due to the high costs and potential reputational damage of losing a prestige vehicle in combat.
Russians complain that Ukrainian drones are dropping fragmentation mines on their rear, which is not new. Here it is Belgorod, allegedly. Some suggest that the new version has a proximity sensor. Russians targeted a Ukrainian Su-25, which was in a kind of hangar, with a Zala Lancet. I haven't got a single clue if the Lancet penetrated the tent or not. What we see burning is the ceiling of the tent and not the actual Su-25. Cuba, a Russian ally who is sending troops to fight in Ukraine, has his own domestic issues, lack of food and freedom. Cuba has limited emigration of its citizens for decades. The Cubans who end up fighting in Ukraine have the implicit backing of the Cuban government. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.